Why don't we get back to the fox den then? We need two more for the slot? Hey, there's a camper here. Mongolian? Oh no. Yup, this is Mongolian, all right. Tolani will face me first. See, these guys are just a little bit differently too. Is that it? Yes. Uh, the camp is up there, not down here. How many people are here? A lot? Oh my god. Is this a thing? Oh, if only we could have gotten the big guy. Oh, I think it's just a smaller camp here. It's not a big one. Oh, I didn't even see you. Hey, hey. Hey, we've gotten to the point where we can just slash one person and get them. Hmm. They were just burning stuff here? Mongol artifact. Juniper. Mongol shamans often imbibe a variety of substances during their ritualistic ceremonies. Juniper, which is mildly hallucinogenic, is one such substance. The shaman ignites the juniper, waves it in front of their face, and inhales the smoke, which is believed to be pleasing to the spirits as well. Interesting. These places are more for collecting artifacts and the collectibles, I guess? Back to the Mr. Foxy, though. We gotta get those slots. Hmm? We'll get some rest soon. Hey, sorry. I ran off for a bit. It's a dead body. It's a reminder that we're at war. Even though it's normally such a pleasant looking place, nature and all that, we are in the middle of a war. I got freaking mauled! Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh! Oh! I'm being mauled! Wow, you really led me somewhere. Should I bow here? Or about here. Oh, the butterflies. I think that's the effect of me bowing. Cool, well, thank you. Oh, hey, you're still here. Hi. Thank you so much. Bye now. So we got the hook, and the Straw Hat Ronins are back. And the next thing is, we gotta go back and talk to... Oh, the next thing is going to Castle Canada already. Pretty much. Which involves going back to Yuna first. Yeah, I feel like I'm okay with continuing. But, um, before that... Whisper in the Woods and Lady Masako. Hmm. And Komoda Town. Kind of curious about this because... Is that part of the first island? That's still part of this island, right? But for some reason, we're just missing this big chunk here. And we're not really going to it. 
Oh, now that we have the hook, we can go back to that shrine. But we can always fast travel there, so right now, why don't we... Let's find out about the whispers in the woods. How old is this tree? Well, it's probably dead now, but dang. Is she in a forest? More people getting mauled by bears? None of my business. Get away from me! Yagata Farmstead. A town? Like a proper town? Ooh. Hey. Yeah. Oh, since we're traveling around now, we should probably use um, a tire. Now that we have the Ronin armor, I don't really like the Traveler's Desire anymore. But this is the one with the benefits. Uh. Hi! Only reason the Mongols defeated our samurai is because they outnumbered them. You're wrong. I watched the battle from the cliff. Saw what their Khan did to Lord Adachi. Oh. With the oil and torch? Heard about that. The evil act of a coward. Adachi was dead before he even threw his sword. Because the Khan was afraid to face a true warrior. Not sure about that. He killed a dozen samurai with that axe he carries. They never stood a chance against him. So what? He's just one man. But his army fights just like him. Could the Khan have defeated Lord Adachi, fair and square? We'll never find out because Adachi was a guy who was have burned with oil. From that blind story Doing it like that gives off the impression that he's weaker than Adachi and he was too afraid to um, face him properly. But is that really true? I'm really not so sure about that either because remember us. We lost to the Khan pretty dang quickly. That guy is strong. Mm -hmm. Just got a nice farm here. Whispers in the woods. This one is about how there is apparently some kind of spirits or ghosts around here in the woods. Somebody's swinging a sword all over the place. Oh dear. Stay away, my lord. The spirits of vengeful samurai haunt this forest. Why are you spouting nonsense? It's true. This was once a place of refuge. Now, all who enter the forest are never seen again. We're at war. People go missing. But even the Mongols fear this place. Wait until nightfall, my lord. That's when death stalks the forest. Whispers in the forests. After tonight, you won't need to spin tales of murderous spirits. I pray you are right, my lord. I pray I'm right too. Evil spirits. Come out, come out wherever you are. Ugh. Oh, there was a second person here. I didn't even see. Lanterns. Well, 
Well, it's a house here. I guess I should just walk around. The fireflies and the lanterns kind of make things scary already. Oh, hey. Right now? Well, I won't say no. Following the fox is part of looking around the forest, too. Uh... Wow, you... <gasps> the fox led me straight to where I need to be. And that's also one thing that's really cool about Ghost of Tsushima, too. The events are interlinked. Following one thing leads you to another. Yes, one more slot. What should we do? Ghost weapons deal 20% more damage. Moderate increase arrow damage. Moderate increase the health. While at 50% health or less, healing recovers an additional 15% of health. That could be good. Or how about we just get more resolve? Sure. Oh, we already we're already using that though. So now we have 30%. Okay, why not? Anyway though. Decapitated. As if the killer were imitating tales of samurai vengeance. Sounds pretty human to me. Mm. The thing about this one was that the lady said, Oh, we think it's ghosts. But the people were stabbed with swords. And then Jin was like, well, if they use swords, then they've got to be human, right? It's probably not a spirit. There was someone else here. Maybe they got away. Whoa. Hey, is that somebody's dog? Surprise shout. Who was that? Show yourself. Decapitated. Looks like he was trying to get away from someone. Watching all over. Somebody decapitating people around here. Decapitation, that's pretty. That's pretty brutal. And more importantly, why do that? Campfire. Someone must be there. Somebody alive? No. This was recent. The killer must be close. It's not a spirit. It's gotta be a person. You want me to- oh, I didn't finish investigating? Someone ran this way. Okay, that's definitely not a spirit. Whoa! Oh my god! What the hell? This was staged to scare people away. 
Well, it's working. Who was that? Did you get him? Easy. Just one guy. Took his head. If we keep this up, we'll have the forest to ourselves as long as we like. Right? Even the Mongols are good enough. Uh, chopping off heads with this samurai. <laughs> but worth it to have this place all to ourselves. Exactly as we thought. Somebody found a samurai blade. And now they're abusing it. <clears throat> it's like an evil version of Jinroku. That guy was harmless, but these people are very harmful. One, two, three. Not a big deal. They're gonna see me for sure, because they're looking at each other. That's okay. Butchers! Oh my god. Don't tell me these are people's heads, please. Ah. Oh. The tale is true. The samurai spirit. Buddha protect me. No. No, he's not getting to leave. We can't let this guy live. He killed a bunch of people. For what? Because he want the forest to himself? The forest is safe. That should give the man by the road a new tale to tell. Oh, are you kidding me? He ran away! Hey. Oh, no! I, I wasn't gonna let him go. No. <sighs> but he left so quickly. No. Yeah. That's awful. Man, these are awful people. Sometimes you meet bandits who are willing to protect town villagers, and then sometimes you meet guys that decapitate people for fun. We don't even really know why they want the forest all to themselves. <laughs> Just because? What, you want more space to live around? That's it? Gosh. Um, this house here. Someone lived here. We didn't even check this place. Abandoned. The voices. Oh, I think we were supposed to find this earlier. I've grown wary. Night after night, I hear their voices. Sometimes, the whispers seem to come on the winds from afar and barely reach my ears before they fade away. Other times, they assault me and wake me from my dreams as my heart pounds, and every breath feels like a weight sits heavy on my chest. Tonight I'll stay awake. I'll follow the whispers. I'll find out what they wish to tell me. The Legend of Yagata Forest Yagata Forest has stood long before me, and will stand long after I'm gone. The legend says that every tree is the spirit of a samurai who fell protecting the island. Are these the whispers I hear? Are they crying out in pain, begging for us to repay them for their sacrifice? Or are they trying to warn us of something, and protect us even now? Yeah, the people living here were really puzzled. Caretaker heard strange noises at night. Then he went missing. Light lanterns. Repair shrine. Make an offering to the kami. Ignore the voices. Ignore the voices. Ignore the voices. The bandits must have found him. Yum. What terrible people. Like, I just don't understand why they want the forest to themselves. Because there's more food that way? 
What, you want to catch all the deer for yourselves, or what? I feel like the forest is big enough to have other people, too. My lord! You survived the night? Oh! Maybe not for long. <laughs> and you have a new tale to tell. Murderous bandits once made the sacred forest their home. But the spirits of the samurai who protect these woods were angered. The last warrior of Clan Sakai heard their anguished howls. He rid the forest of the killers, and the spirits of the fallen samurai were grateful. A good story. As if the samurai spirits summoned you here to save their forest. Maybe. This one was pretty cool. It's all like atmospheric at night too. Dual destruction. Attacks have a 5% chance to deal double damage. Hmm. We have one technique point. I can keep going with the stances. Or alternatively... I'm still thinking about these points here. Of all these things, I feel like I want Resolve the most. But, mmm... No, it's okay, it's okay. The stances are probably more important. Or even stuff here. Slow time while aiming. Safe landing. Oh, mm, this would probably be a good one to have. So we don't die to a fall again. Luna rolls out of high falls. A thief's trick. We had to learn how to roll. Okay, well... That's a job well done. Should I go talk to Lady Masako before continuing on? Because this one seems like it's going to be the last thing. In that case, I feel like we can probably... Why don't we go to this one too? Destroy Shipyard. After we do that, we'll get up here, see what Masako is doing, and... Probably visit Komoda Town too, right? We have a whole town here that we haven't visited yet. I feel like we should go to it, according to the main story, sometime, because there's a huge chunk here. Because I'm guessing what I assume is, once we go to Castle Canada, we'll move on to the next area. But is that going to be the case? I guess we don't really know. We'll continue on during the night time. Quickly, Nobu. As convenient the fast travel is, I feel like I do enjoy the short travel times we have between places. Because I feel like if they make it too convenient, which at some point it does kind of feel like that, then it starts becoming... Oh. Hello? Hi. Okay, this guy is just randomly sitting here in the middle of the road, not doing much. Okay, you do your thing, man. As I was gonna say though, if it's too convenient and you can fast travel from every place to every other place, then doing quests starts feeling a lot like going down a list of stuff that you have to do. Does that make sense? As opposed to feeling more like you're traveling between places and helping people out, it becomes much more like a to-do list. Stuff like collectibles and all that, they already kind of feel like that, so... Definitely feel like it's a hard balance to strike. Immersion versus convenience. But I feel like both of them are valid ways to go, as long as it's clear that the game's philosophy... Like, the game itself is clear on which direction they want to go. Oh, we gotta hide. Oh, 
We messed up. Okay, well, whatever. Oh god. Hello? Ow! Oh, we've been found out! What about the leader? If the leader... There's a war camp general here. But the... Hmm... Oh, hey. Woo-ha! Woo-ha! This one might not be a normal Mongolian camp because there's Sashimono banners and all that. It's a bigger one, right? That's why on the map it's so big. Oh, in that case, maybe there's no leader to observe. That's why we have a war camp general instead. I'll take all of your stuff while you're not looking. And that's the... Uh... Ah, do we get a saddle? For collecting the Sashimono banners. Oh, where are the people? What are you guys doing? Hey, can you show me the list of objectives again? I kind of want to see what I got to do. Oh, I see a thing here. Oh, that's a wind chime! Oh, it was an artifact. Okay, cool. The wind chime... It's not something we do here? Oh. How do you do a wind chime? How do you do a wind chime? Ghost? L2. Oh, 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 okay. It's like, uh... No, it's not here. Where is a wind chime? Oh. Okay, maybe I'll worry about it later. Okay, we gotta kill an enemy using perfect parry. That's my bonus condition. Which means, if I want to do that, it would probably be best for me to uh, reveal myself. Hey guys! Oh god! That wasn't perfect! Ow! It's kinda hard to do it perfectly. Oh, I have to kill an enemy using a perfect parry? Like, the killing shot has to be the parry? But it doesn't... Parrying doesn't kill somebody, right? And that wasn't perfect. Hmm, maybe I'm not doing it perfectly, so... I think the slow-mo one is considered perfect, but I'm not sure how to um, do it properly. Or maybe I did it already, because it's gone. Huh. There's more people down by the docks. And the hook here! <laughs> Didn't really need it. Hey everybody! Did you have a falcon here, or...? What? Sashimono banner. Ow, ow, ow! Woo! Hold on. Hold on. Oh, that was beautiful. Good. Whenever there's a lot of people around us, it's good to just automatically start doing a lot of um, kunais, sticky bombs, all that. Because we do have a whole bunch of it. Oh, it's a shipyard, all right. There's a ship. Hey, 
Hey! Oh, are you a leader? Not anymore. Oh. Anybody else want to come out? Yeah, there's an artifact here. I can see it. There's more. That's not the only artifact. Something is still vibrating. It's probably the Sashimono banner. Yup. Whoa, they have so much weaponry here. Explosives? Hey! Scared me, came out of nowhere. Okay. We can go down here, but we don't need to. Oh, wow. So with a hook, I can go to all sorts of places now. I don't even need to climb the stairs properly. Another banner. But something, again, something is still vibrating. Oh, can I use that as a hook? Oh, that's beautiful. Dang. Did everyone die already? I don't think so. Probably once I do all the objectives. Yeah, a warlord's gonna come out and be like, Hey, what'd you do with all my guys? Even though the perfect time for him to come out was probably during when all the other guys were still here. But maybe he's not smart enough to realize that. Oh! <laughs> scared me. Thank you. Oh! Kunai's. And here we go. Falcon. Why are they trapping the falcons? Wait, those were their birds, right? So we were just freeing them for no reason. Well, okay. Now we gotta figure out where the powder cache is, but... I... Oh! Was it the cache that was on the ship? The big pack of explosives we saw? I mean, probably, right? Oh, this is perfect! So good. No, there's still something vibrating around this area. I think it might be below the ship. If I just have a look here. Oh, whoa! No. No, that's not it, but it's still... It's vibrating pretty strongly around here. Hey, mister. Wanna try out the longbow? Whoa, that seemed pretty intense. Yeah, the vibration's a little bit weaker here. And it's non-existent here. It's gotta be on the ship. Yeah, yeah, it's strong again. And here, it's a little bit weaker. Ah, well, whatever, I guess. Maybe we'll deal with the cash first. And then we'll get up. Cool guys, don't look at explosions! <gasps> You're gonna burn the whole ship! Oh my god!
Mm hmm. That was for using a perfect parry? But what about the Lord? The Warlord? No, that was it! I thought we were gonna have to do a <sighs> duel again, but nope. Okay. Well, the ship's been destroyed, so I guess we're not finding that artifact. <laughs> oh, it's it's still around here. Whoa! This whole place has been reduced to dust. Oh my gosh. And I'm the one who did that. <laughs> it's still vibrating! Where is it? It's still... Oh, maybe it's, uh, it's probably inside the ship? Underneath? But there's no inside. Oh, there was a record right here on the ship. You see the firefly? I just closed and updated the game, and the newest update, 1.0.6, added this firefly that shows where things are, which makes it easier because it's not just a controller vibration. And you can see it too, as opposed to just me telling you that, hey, there's a, there's a thing here. Conversations with the con, too. Tonight, while we sampled a variety of fine sakes, Koten Khan shared his insights into Tsushima's politics and history. We discussed at length the internal rivalries of the Nagaos, tensions between the Adachi and Kikuchi, and the reasons for Shimura's victory over Yarikawa, as if he's lived among us for decades. Later, he confided his personal stake here. After the conquest of... Goryo, Koten has been entrusted by Kublai Khan with subduing Japan. If he is successful, it will make his name and allow him to vie for the title of the great Khan himself. I did not dare to ask if he meant to overthrow his cousin, Kublai, but I believe that was his insinuation. Ambitious guy. That's the whole point of why they're trying to overtake the world, right? It's all ambition. Black Powder Cannon. The proliferation of gunpowder technology throughout Europe during the High Middle Ages has largely been due to the use of explosives and firearms by the Mongols as they pushed beyond Asia. Gunpowder also played a major role in the Mongol conquest of China. One of the most notable such weapons used during the invasion of Japan is a small explosive bomb used to injure and panic the samurai's horses. Oh, panicking animals! I guess that would be pretty important, huh? Because if we rely so much on them, then... It doesn't matter how good we are at fighting, if the horses don't listen to our commands. Okay! Cool. We've destroyed the shipyard. And we continue on to... Let's drop by Komoda Town. Drop by the town, not in the water. Okay. Good Us destroying the shipyard here probably weakened the Mongol forces quite a bit, so that's good. But there's still so many Mongol ships here, oh my goodness. Just look at that. Oh! There's a Mongol with a bird. Are they killing people? If they're not, I don't care. Okay, fine, let's rescue them. Come and fight! Mm, I think the people are dead already. Oh! We gotta get the Falcon first, right? Was that kind of the whole thing? Because otherwise, the Falcons call reinforcements. How do we get the Falcon? <laughs> Hey, what you guys all want? Oh, that was beautiful! Wait, that guy just... What? Why did that guy just run away? No, no! <laughs> did I even attack him? Why did he run away? He dropped his shield and just booked it. I know there's a guy there, but I just want to check this guy out. Oh, what? He... Oh, wait, that's somebody else, right? That's definitely not the guy I killed. That guy... I think he despawned already. 
Should probably get back to that person before they go too. Hold on. I hope I didn't mess anything up by going too far away. He's still waiting for me. Oh, all of your friends died. And I can't do anything about it. Free me! Hold still. May you be blessed for everything you did in Komatsu. You're a vision of mercy. You're safe now. Please, this is for you. I have no clue what they're giving me every time. Like, nothing even pops up. Is it supplies or what? <laughs> okay, lady, go home. Two technique points. Two. Did I- oh! I guess I didn't use my one from earlier, because I was talking so much. Flowing strikes? We can just keep going with the stances. But instead of doing all in one tree, maybe we can spread it out? Typhoon kicks launch your enemies farther back and deal extra stagger damage. Unleash a torrent of four rapid strikes. Triangle, 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 triangle. Hey lady, go home. The sand's picking up. You don't want to be around when there's a sandstorm. Komoda Town? Is it the place that Yuna rescued me at? That town? Because Komoda Beach was where the battle took place. It might be. But we don't really remember that place very well, right? Because we were trying to sneak through it the whole time. And the last time we were there, it was full of Mongols in every direction possible. Just a branch? We have another shrine. These Tori gates lead to Stone Dragon Shrine. Sanctuary of Susano. Kami of Storms. Kami of Storms. And we can do it. We have a hook. I really feel like a Tomb Raider. This way? Climbing is one thing, but to be able to jump across, or jump above, the amount of upper body strength, oh my goodness. Here we go! Kami of the storms. It's pretty peaceful today, weather-wise. I don't think we're supposed to be here. <laughs> but if not here, then where? There's more hooky stuff over here. Down? I don't think that's right. Are we just trying to get to the top of this place? I mean, thank you for the flowers, but that's not it, right? I don't see any more traces of the shrine stuff. Am I even going the right place? Oh god, no. I'm sorry. Maybe I needed to follow the shrine even more. Uh, that's... That's an animal, right? Oh! Okay. Uh, but I wanna go to the shrine. We still haven't found it yet. Not the actual location. Because we saw the gate, but then somehow I... just didn't follow the right path. There's a gate, and there's Nobu. 
Oh, maybe they wanted me to go follow the normal path. And I'll climb up the mountain. Here! Here? I don't see any more Tori gates, though. That's the problem. We saw the one. Well, I mean, if we can't find it right now, we'll eventually come across it. Oh. Here we are again. Stone Dragon Shrine. Over here. We've got the thing for the camp already, so we can just fast travel to it. Suddenly it does feel like it's a bit stormier here. So oh god, wait. <laughs> Didn't feel too confident in that swing. Oh! I try to... Um, I try to cheat it. Should have just gone to that platform right there. Oh my god. We're fine, we're fine. Just stay calm. Stay calm and look around and don't look down. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wait, should I be looking down? Oh, whoa. They wandered off the island. They crashed. Hmm, they were trying to get out, but... Mm, we don't know what the water surrounding Tsushima's like. Maybe it's really difficult to get off the island. If the waters aren't that calm, maybe you need a boat expert. Okay. Bit of a jump. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Whoa, I didn't see anything, but good thing there was a hook right here. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Wow. That's how far we've come. It seems like it's a straight line, but it's not. Uh, would that be Kashine? The weather was a little bit stormier before we died, but now it's calm again. Hold on. How do I see my... Actually, how do I see it? <laughs> I don't even know. How do I see the charms? Where is that? Oh, it's right here. Oh, because this slot doesn't take the big charm, right? We gotta put it here. I just wanna see it. What was it? Charm of Susano. Staggered enemies have a 30% chance to be knocked down. Oh, that seems pretty good, actually. Why don't we try it out? In exchange for less resolve. Which is okay, because we were already using one of those charms. Okay. We said our thanks. Now it's time to go. 